HDSLR Shooter's coverage of NAB 2011 is brought to you by Kessler, Asden Microphones, Red Rock Micro, Digital Anarchy, and Adobe. Clint with HDSLR Shooter, we're just making our way through uh, NAB here, and I have uh, Hector, tell me your last name. Marquez. Hector Marquez, and he is here, and the name of the company, Hector? Mayo 3D. Okay, and tell me a little bit about uh, what you guys have here and how it came to be, you know. Absolutely, yeah, the founder of the company is uh, stereographer and cinematographer B. Sean Fairburn. He's been a Hollywood veteran for 22 years. He's worked on projects such as Star Trek, The Expendables, uh, just finished The Mechanic. And he brought a new concept to stereography. In our typical way of shooting stereography footage, we wind up having two cameras. Each of them have their field of view. They cross, we have a convergence point. What Sean's done is something just brilliantly simple. Instead of having a simple two cameras, we add a third camera to the mix. Now I have one interocular, I have two interoculars, but I also have three interoculars. What this allows me to do is take my camera rig and on the fly, I can go from a close-up shot and not worry about convergence. Then I can go to a shot that's farther off in the distance, still have excellent convergence. And then yet take a farther shot, further off in the distance, not worry about convergence. And at that time, I don't need a rig that's moving cameras back and forth, up or down, side to side. I've got a stationary rig and it does a oh, whole process God. side by side. So these are drift cameras, drift 170s. Uh, we've got two of them right there, very close to each other. I've got a little bit of space to give me a little bit of offset. So I can shoot you and I here on this interocular, but then we can go out down the street over there. And then yet that farther away, I move out to these interoculars right here. Okay. And it allows us to be able to shoot, keeping perfect convergence all the time without ever moving the camera rig. So there's no test work or guesswork in regards to There's that. no guesswork at all. Absolutely not. Three different styles of plates. This is the smallest one, but each of the plates are thread specific to the particular type of camera system, mounting system, whether you're using Gear Next products or anything else that's out there, crane, dolly, you name it. And the holes are specific to the equipment that will be mounted on. So he's already done all the math and all the different size of plates that are available. So if you have a camera rig, whether it's an XF-105 or you're shooting DSLR or you've got something else going on, like even a set of Alexas, you can bring them in. They're only going to mount in specific areas which are going to keep your alignments and your interoculars intact. Once you align your cameras, you don't have to touch them again and you can film all day long. So it really helps in post-production to give you different choices, but also while you're shooting, it makes it fast, it makes it easy. And you can have one person control a three camera 3D rig and there's no muss, there's no fuss, it's straightforward. So what are we seeing in regards to like, are you, have you guys put it to the test in a feature or where are you at with that? We absolutely did. We just finished filming a feature length movie entitled Dark Truths. Uh, the movie is in post-production right now and it'll be out at the end of summertime. We use a prototype of all his Mayo 3D technology. We filmed it on DSLRs provided by Panasonic. Uh, we use drift cameras and we use contour cameras as our B and C rigs to get into really tight shots because of the size and the small. Also a uh, unique thing about being able to sync them together via one remote control so they fire on and off in sync has been absolutely phenomenal. So post-production has been excellent. Uh, we came out of uh, post-production for a rough cut about a week ago. It's already mucked together. The 3D looks beautiful. And it was one of the most uh, enjoyable processes because we expected a monster. But instead, it made it so easy to have more than two streams of footage to choose from any time I needed to move out a convergence point by choosing a different interocular. So tell me, uh, what's, just real quick, what's the film about? So uh, the film is a crime thriller. Uh, in fact, one of the main stars of the film is here uh, at the booth with us, running around somewhere. Uh, his name is DeMarco Foster, and he's actually a rapper. His name is Foss. Just provided the soundtrack for the uh, San Francisco Giants uh, music video for winning the World Series. And uh, the story, not giving it away, goes where his brother gets killed. And he spends the movie uh, avenging his brother's death. And at the end of the movie, he does, in fact, find the killer. And a surprising twist takes place. All, of course, in 3D. Uh, we had a great time doing it. It was shot in Northern California in a soundstage called The Playground, entirely green screen, and uh, Sean Fairburn was our director of photography. Do you guys anticipate a release date on that? 
We do. The release date is expected to be the end of August. And uh, right now we've been in talks with Google and YouTube for distribution on uh, the new LG tablet that is coming out on the uh, no glasses screens. So we're very excited about that possibility. Oh my God, I, I, yeah, I guess so. Well, listen, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. And thank you guys for putting out a good product as well. Oh, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. HDSLR Shooters coverage of NAB 2011 is brought to you by Lens Baby, Red Giant Software, Think Tank Photo, Blue Microphones, and Small HD.